This is the awkward <laughs> part of scaling fences. Hotel Papa, runway 32, wind variable at 3, you're clear for takeoff, proceed on course. 32, clear for takeoff on course, 32, clear for Okay, full power, everything looks good, we got airspeed, nose coming up, and there we go. Traffic. Ten o'clock, same altitude, up here, zero miles. And the gear's up. Via Echo Cross, runway five. So this is very one, confirm my permission to cross runway five. So this is very one, affirmative, cross runway five. Thanks for checking. Okay, only hold left hand turn here. Being up to 4,000 for the moment. Boston approach to end the 367 Hotel Papa VFR. 367 Hotel Papa, Boston approach. Yeah, 367 Hotel Papa just off the of Lawrence, climbing through 2,500, looking for a Bravo clearance uh, down to Chatham. 367 Hotel Papa, block 5324. 5324, 7 Hotel Papa. 7 Hotel Papa, radar contact 2 miles south of Lawrence, Boston, now Twitter 3013. Now. 3013 is taking the rest for 705. 705, stand by for Bravo, so anything I try to work that up for you right now. 705, thanks. Okay, yeah, we'll just level at 3500 for the moment. Gives us a nice buffer, buffer below the 4,000 foot ring and an easy way down under the 3,000 foot if we need it. 3705, clear the Boston Bravo airspace, fly hitting 190, maintain 3,500 on the Bravo. 190, maintain 3,500. Any chance for higher? We're looking for uh, probably uh, 7,500. Hotel Papa, for now maintain 3,500, I'll work on higher for you. 705, thanks. Nice little uh, sunset flight. Be a quick flight down to Chatham, only about 25 minutes or so. Fun little Hotel airport, Papa, on fun, 4, fun place really. Uh, just right on Cape Cod. Especially in the summertime, a lot going on down there. Very New England, Cape, 4,500. 4,500, 7 minutes pop. Yeah, check out that traffic flow into Boston today. We got a lot of traffic. A lot going on. Got some great views out over uh, Boston Harbor today. Absolutely amazing. Nice, nice view of Logan there too. And nice view of the city 11, just off the nose. Climbing to 5,000. Cool. Dual heavy arrivals on the fours. FedEx, oh, yeah. FedEx MD11 and. It's like a Turkish no, or Hawaiian or something. 6 p.m. rush in Boston Logan. Okay, so now with the uh, new new avionics updates, when we hit direct or put in some new route on the panel, we can also just load it right here in four flight and see what that looks like. So we can mess around with it here and there, or like here, you know, if we wanted to fly over here first, we could drag that over to like the Provincetown uh, NDB and now uh, we can go over here to the route and send that to the panel if we wanted just Free go over here to like messages to and tap the flight plan localizer. and now we've got the, uh, All right, uh, the ones that, or whatever we whatever. want in addition, since we can listen to satellite radio here now we can go to the Garmin Pilot app and now we can uh, go Boston to Sirius XM. Now we can decide to change the, the volume. We can. Uh, Aircraft call approach check in. Just the volume. Oh, sir, you can find new channels. You can know, search for stuff. Great. It's much better than dealing with it on the uh, 750. So that's pretty cool. Um, okay, 1701 Boston approach. They'll stop talking. Actually, we'll just 
stable. Maybe the uh, Bravo via the Bravo 4 here, 1701. That's pretty cool. So we can do that. Pull up some Michael Buble. Alright, I guess now it's Adele. Just missed it. But now we get that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but we'll kill that so that we don't have like a copyright claim on this video. But so that's kind of cool. You can uh, update all the databases on here. We can actually, with the sat phone here, we could uh, call and text and stuff right from here. I don't text because it's like really expensive, but calling is actually pretty handy. Uh, so that'll that'll be that's nice. Now you can just dial from here instead of going through a bunch of menus on the uh, 750 and doing that. Uh, but yeah, so that's cool. Cape Approach, Benita 367 Hotel Papa, 7500. Benita 367 Hotel Papa, Cape Approach to Cape Altimeter 3015, state destination. 3015, we're going to Chatham and uh, we're like started via Far East then. Benita 7 Hotel Papa, via Far to your discretion. 7 Hotel Papa. I feel like there's no actual communication between uh, Cape and Boston. Like every single time, every time I've ever gotten that handoff, they want to know where I'm going or vice versa. Like they, there's no no coordination there whatsoever. Okay, yeah, we'll go ahead and get the uh, weather at. Ch oh, actually, so one of the other cool features we got this cool extra little button over here, so you can say Tune Destination AWOS. Tune Destination ASOS. There we go. <laughs> Swap com frequencies. Change com frequencies. Switch com frequencies. Hey Siri. Switch com one to standby frequency. Uh, <laughs> so it's not perfect, but you know, there are little things like that. <laughs> It's a total gimmick. I didn't actually want to install the Avionic shop that was doing the updates, put it in anyway. Actually, so the one place that it would be useful is if I could do both at the same time. I don't know if I can, so that I could like read back some frequency and just hold this one down while I'm reading the frequency and then let up. So I can be like, 123.4, 7 Hotel Pop, good day, you know, or something, and like do that. That would be handy. That would be pretty um, awesome. I don't know that it actually does that and I haven't had a chance to try it out yet, but could be cool. See, so yeah, I want to show off a lot of cool little uh, flying destinations, some interesting food, stuff like that. So if you have any suggestions of where we should fly, what I should eat, let me know in the comments. If you like this, hit like, subscribe, share with all your friends. Uh, really just trying to grow the aviation community. Oh, this is kind of cool. Like, check out all the sand and stuff. Chatham traffic, Bonanza 7 Hotel Pavas, 5 to the northwest. We're going to be entering a left downwind for runway 6, Chatham. Follow the traffic skylink. Final runway seven. Helmet. Okay, and we're gonna make a uh, right hand turn to enter the left downwind. Yeah, this is really pretty. Like, check out the beach out there. Really great views. Yeah, this is really pretty. There's some really nice houses down here too, just right on the beach. Yeah, if you drive around down uh, along the Chatham Beach, it's probably the nicest house on the Cape. Rode my motorcycle down here last summer, so it's pretty awesome. Oh, nice. I made my thousandth landing here. Wow. Yeah, remember flight training when you'd do like a pattern every three minutes? Oh yeah. <laughs> and get 20 landings a lesson? Well, I mean, in a 150, it's, it's hard to do a pattern every three minutes, but yeah. This thing, you can do a pattern every three minutes. I remember just flying, I'd fly around the pattern for hours until my instructor would come on the radio and be like, okay, it's time to, time to put it in the barn. Okay. Flash field traffic, Archer 724, channel way off is from 45 to from the left downward, runway 24, full stop landing, Flash field, three miles out. Marshall traffic, Skyhawk, by to get is... Forward mixture's rich, everything else is good.
Looks like they have the grass to the right of the runway here marked off as a runway too. That end marker is on the other side. Huh. Adam, Massachusetts. The sun just set. Got a got some nice views on the way in. Yeah, nice. And now we're waiting for Uber. We're gonna head downtown and check that out. Seven five to three million dollars is the going rate in Chatham these days. Either buy one of these things or a PC12. Which one would you pick? I'm gonna go with PC12. Yeah, those net then no remote. We just find in the follow the sky, but nowadays it's different. You know, we have the real remote control stuff. Right. Uh, yeah. so. You've arrived. Right, it's pretty lucky. Oh, yeah, you guys are lucky too. We never get a chance. We only dream.
This is the awkward <laughs> part of scaling fences. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> that went great. Thank you. You're welcome. Next time. Let's try to open this. We're trying to figure out how to actually get fuel here. See, I don't... I think that's... Success. <laughs> this is the, the craziest... Also, that's so expensive. Oh. This is full service. Is there... It's 732 self... Oh. No, I think that's... that's how, yeah, that's I think quantity. that's gallons. I'm so confused right now. No hoses. Okay, so I think when it says full service, they might actually mean full service. <laughs> uh, jump the fence. Piss on the fence. Have the guy veer into the airport. <laughs> Five minutes later, a police officer. <laughs> okay, so we'll find Chatham here. There's Chatham. So uh, nothing special, but takeoff minimum is runway six. Uh, standard with minimum climb of 462 feet per nautical mile to 300, or runway 24 with 248 to 500. So uh, 24 is just a little bit easier, but we can also comply with uh, runway six, especially as light as we are. So uh, we'll just do that. Throttle airspeed's alive. 55 knots, there's 60, 65. And it's just pitch black out there. That's just nothing but water. So that was an exciting night at uh, Chatham. Got some good food, got to see the downtown area a little bit. Um, we may have broken pretty much every rule at the airport. We didn't really mean to, we didn't We didn't know. Note the code to get back in through the gate. Um, don't hop the fence or then be next to the fence because apparently one or, one or both of those things may have gotten the cops called on us. And uh, make sure you know if self-serve, if the fuel available is actually self-serve or only full service, even though it looks like self-serve. So, uh, yeah, that was, was a good learning experience. We're going to go up to 6,500 so that we're within uh, lighting distance of the land the whole way. Yeah, so at night, uh, I usually prefer to just go IFR. Today we just couldn't get anybody on the ground to get a frequency, so I just decided to screw it. But in general, it's just nice, uh, especially at night when you just can't see things as well and whatnot. You can't really necessarily tell where the weather is and things like that. I mean, it's a lot of times, especially like this departure, I mean, we took off and it was immediately just pitch black. You know, that's basically an instrument condition where there's no visual horizon. Uh, so, I really like to go IFR, it just keeps you a little safer. If you're following IFR procedures anyway, it guarantees like obstacle clearance and things like that, so you don't have to worry about being able to see things. And it's always just nice to have an extra set of eyes 
an extra set of eyes on you uh, with air traffic control.